But head teachers say they are also trying to support pupils whose families are struggling to make ends meet, as Theo Chikumba reports. Catering for more than a thousand students at Bedford Academy, this team have their work cut out daily. As the cost of living increases, their work has never been greater, helping students like Lacey. With like the food in our school, we have that free in the breakfast in the morning um, and it benefits quite a lot of people as well because if you don't get the chance to maybe have the breakfast in the morning, maybe it could be for a reason like your family couldn't afford it or you just didn't get to eat. You know that you're always going to be full, you're always going to be energised, ready to smash like, the lessons in the day as well, leading up to lunchtime. And it's something the school are not leaving out of their curriculum. Through the PSHE programme here at the school, I think we are getting a dose of current affairs. So students are aware of what's happening and uh, we can go talk to our parents about that because we are told about it. And um, what's happening nationally and internationally is incorporated into our lessons, so we are getting a full dosage of that. Yeah, so these are brand new LED lights and we've been replacing these over the last three weeks um, as part of our sort of climate sustainability plan that's longer term. Uh, we know that longer term these are going to save us a significant amount of money as a school and as a trust and we don't want to pass that cost effectively onto families so this is a way that we can do that. Cutting their energy bills is one way they hope can make a difference in the long term on top of meeting the challenges their students' families are facing. We have um, a hardship budget for families, which is about £4,000. So if students are missing a tie or a pair of shoes um, or a pair of trousers, something really simple in their uniform, which makes them feel different to other people, then we can find that money for them and ensure that they're not left behind. A few minutes down the road at this primary school, there are similar concerns. We do notice children and we make sure our primary job is to make sure that they're fed, clothed and happy and ready to be educated. That's our job. One of the funding streams that we have in a primary school is um, pupil premium. If parents could sign up for free school meals through the local authority, then that adds to the school budgets and enables us to do things like offer more children free food, um, free fruit, um, milk in the mornings, um, extra uniform bags and any other extra bits and pieces that just uh, relieve the pressure on families really. While schools are doing all they can to manage their finances as costs rise, easing the burden for tomorrow's generation remains a priority. Theo Chikomba, Beep Silicon East.